babes welcome back to my channel you guys know over here we jump right into the videos if you guys are new here welcome now's a good time to go ahead and subscribe and of course if you guys are not new here go ahead and comment down below sunflower gang so i know you have arrived <laughs> Of course, you guys, you can see by the title that today's video is in partnership with RPG Show. You guys know I've literally been working with them at this point for about five years, as long as I've had my channel. They are literally the GOATs when it comes to um, wigs that are literally ready to go. So as you guys can see, this unit is already pre-plucked, pre-bleached, pre-styled, pre-colored. <laughs> It's not much that you really have to do. So I decided I would make a video to show you how I kind of prep my wigs the moment that I get them, right? So ideally, when you get a wig, you would want to go ahead and shampoo, condition it, get some of those yuckies away just in case anything happened that you didn't know about. Well, this just shows where my trust level is with RPG Show because as soon as I get their wigs, I start to style them. Um, you guys can see I already have my hot comb heated up. Um, and so, of course, I decided I was going to be doing a side part in this case already you guys can see just how thin this freaking lace is it's really really HD of course that's what everybody is going for these days and you guys can see how easily I'm able to pretty much just style this and get it ready to wear um, like I said the units come ready to wear but y'all know there's a difference you want your unit to really be laid slayed to the guys and so this is what we're doing now I did find this um, flat iron or hot comb on Amazon it actually has an adjustable temperature set which is perfect for me because sometimes when I'm using it like on my own hair I don't want it to be like super 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 hot but in this case I wanted to heat it up as much as possible to get the hair as flat as it possibly could be now keep in mind this part of the uh, styling I did not use any product at all I'm literally just using the hair as is and slowly gliding the hot comb across the hairline just to push everything back and get a feel of what everything really looks like so like I said before this is a thin lace Swiss lace HD transparent lace you don't need any glue you don't have to sew it down you don't have to bleach you don't have to do anything outside of putting this actual wig on if you wanted to do a middle part you can definitely do that it does have free parting it's a 13 by uh, 4 if I'm not mistaken actually I think this is a 13 by 6 because I'm just looking at how deep you know the parting is going so maybe that's a error on my end um but anyway the length of the unit is a 20 inch and as you guys can see it's already been lightened a bit got a few highlights uh, to pretty much frame the face and nothing in the back so I went ahead and start working on this decided I was going to do a bone straight look which you guys know I've been using my FHI flat iron literally <laughs> since the beginning of time <laughs> since I started my channel I think I've had this flat iron so that lets you know it is money well spent I am not putting any products on this hair at least not yet right so I just really wanted to see what it would look like um, straight out of the gate fresh out of the box and you guys can already see I did not have any issues with actually getting this hair straight right away now typically when I am styling hair I go ahead and do a light mist with my camera flat iron spray at some point I did decide to go in and just do that and as you guys can see by strand two I was already like yeah let's go ahead and add a little bit of this <laughs> so I'm just combing that product throughout the hair it does not leave it sticky or anything like that it's literally like a light holding spray so your um, style lasts a little bit longer so if you're gonna be straightening, straightening your hair out adding some curls whatever it is you decide it'll definitely help hold with the style um, you can actually find this at I was about to say Costco <laughs> you can actually find it at Ulta that's pretty Ulta U-L-T-A Ulta um, that's pretty much the only place I've ever seen those products if you're not gonna order it from like Amazon or online somewhere y'all know at this point Amazon is like Google okay when it comes to products so um, yeah shout out RPG show because you guys have the fullest hair from roots to tip y'all um, the details of course are gonna be listed down in my description box below but I wanted to let you know that um, the density on this unit is actually a 200 so that means this freaking wig is packed tight with hair so I was actually pleasantly surprised to see that the front tool was not overly thick it was nicely plucked out I did go ahead and do a little bit more towards the end of this which you guys will see but straight out of the gate you guys can see that color is blended perfectly that's another thing RPG show is my go-to wig company when it outside of myself <laughs> when it comes to coloring units if you are not sure about a 
color and you want to try it, especially with the wig, you want to definitely check them out just because I have not seen them do any type of cut job or color job and it not be on point. So whoever it is they have getting this stuff together is clearly an expert because you guys, the highlights are blended perfectly. It's not choppy. You don't have like uneven, weird patches. You guys can see how we have that blonde highlight and then we kind of have that brownish color. You guys can see where that pre-plucked um, situation has already happened. Of course, I prefer a little bit more of a deeper pluck. But for this to be straight out of the gate, honestly, I cannot complain at all. So, of course, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up. You guys have seen me do styling a million and one times. I just wanted to kind of give you a fresher video just because why not? It's 2021. Who doesn't want to see an updated slayed a wig? Um, and so I'm going to continue to go out throughout the hair. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll pretty much be back once I get to the top of this just to get a little bit more detail for you guys. So you guys can see, take a little bit of that camera flat iron spray, hit it with either the hot comb first or obviously your flat, flat iron. Either way, you're going to need both tools. And the reason I say that is because you want to get this super flat. Unless you're going for like a humped over look or something a little bit more fuller in the crown area, then yeah, make sure you're doing both because <laughs> I'm clocking you, all right? So we definitely want to make sure that everything is smoothed over and you just do that by turning your setting up as high as it'll go on that hot comb 
hitting those roots and then going back with the flat iron just to make sure that all the other parts of the hair is smoothed over very nicely and you guys can see how easy this was to do and like I said that Kimra flat iron spray makes everything easier to like manage like I said it'll hold it in place without causing too much sticky residue and all that weird stuff so you should pretty much be all set and you guys can see on that last piece I just really wanted to make sure that everything was completely smoothed over get rid of any flyaways y'all know I use a little bit of any type of shine shine mist oil and the combination of the camera spray and we are in the game y'all and if you didn't know, when you do a side part, it definitely helps to do more of an L shape just because I like the way it looks, okay? <laughs> if you decide to just do this straight back, there's no worry there. But if you do have the parting space to curve that part, go ahead and do it just because to me it's a little bit more flattering. So I did go ahead and take my tweezers just to further tweeze it out. I did tell you guys I was going to do that. Um, I didn't have to go too, too crazy. I didn't have to go back and re-bleach the knots everything looks amazing i did just want to like i said further customize this because that's what i'm here for right this is this is what i like to do <laughs> rpg sends it to you pretty much ready to wear i send it to you style so if you guys didn't know that then of course all those details will be down in my description box also and if they do send me any coupon codes which typically they do um i will be sure to link those or also put that in my description box that way you won't miss out any opportunities because y'all know these wigs get a little pricey so Keep in mind, these units can last you for years, especially a unit like this, just because everything is so well done from the color to the knots to the construction of the cap. Everything is looking good. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't really suggest you do much else to it outside of keeping it washed. Um, and then, of course, condition, moisturize, all that stuff. Um, you should pretty much be set. You can, you guys can see just how thick this wig is already. You know how sometimes it'll thin out towards the end. RPG show, nope, ain't happening. The one thing I did want to do is go ahead and just kind of give it a nice even trim. You don't have to do that, but I feel like a hairstyle is not complete unless you have put a little bit of some type of scissors to give it a little bit of layering, styling, neatness, uniform, um, uniform uniformity. <laughs> y'all anyway just showing off a little bit more of that color here you guys can see i actually added a few more layers along uh both sides just to frame the face a little bit more and then of course for you girls that like the baby hairs i did go in just to pretty much just smooth these out for you so in no strategic way i'm literally just cutting downward um in kind of a rough motion that way i get a few wispy hairs i don't want like for this to be too perfect so to each his own, you customize your baby hairs the way you want to. You don't even actually have to use them in such a way as baby hairs. You can literally just tuck them back and it literally helps to blend into the style a little bit easier, which is what I did here. So that's why I grabbed my mannequin head so that I can really get a feel of what the style would look like on a client or myself, right? So boom, we are all set. I'm actually going to go ahead and try this on. Obviously, I already have it on. <laughs> you guys did not get any pointers for how to install this because I've literally done this so many times on my channel but I will say this is a glueless unit so the way that I finished styling it on the mannequin head literally all that I did was cut off the lace put it on my head adjust the band boom you have a glueless install you cannot see that lace you don't know where it begins where it ends I don't even have the baby hair style down I just want y'all to realize like this is this is it, okay? This is pretty much doing what it needs to do, okay? <laughs> so anyway, if you do want to try out this unit, definitely click the link in my bio. I'm saying my bio, my description box. Definitely make sure to thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave any comments or questions down below. I love you guys so much. Stay pretty. I will see you on my next one. Bye, babies. Mm -hmm.